Hey family, peace and love to you all. Hello my queens, hello my kings, hello my brothers and sisters. Before I get started, I want to give our honor to the Most High God, the true living God, Yahweh, all right? Uh, my, me and my little queen get ready to go for a walk. Uh, I feel the need to get out in nature, all right? A lot of times when I'm doing um, readings um, for any of my, you know, viewers or even, even subscribers, um, you know, sometimes I can feel some type of way and I have to get out and walk because you'd be surprised how energy can transfer. And it doesn't mean it's a, just a negative energy, but it's just a lot of times when you're meditating on someone's name. Um, sometimes, you know, uh, whatever they're experiencing, you can start feeling it, you know, as far as feeling anxiety and all of that. So your sister is getting ready to go out for a little walk so I can get grounded out here in Mother Nature. And um, with this video right here, I just pretty much want to talk about um, I think it's important, especially for those who are seeking social divine, all right? And please know there are no coincidence, but I just really want to speak on real quick and um, speak about um, how ways of, you know, what you should look for when you're looking at people's orbs, all right? As far as you wanting to know if they are who they are, shall I say. So I'll be back. All right, family, I'm out and about now. Mommy. It's me and my little queen, shall I say? Ooh, that's a pretty light, isn't it? Um, I love when I see these beautiful violet lights when they shoot down from the um, sun. It's very beautiful. But anyway, come on, boo-boo. Me and my little queen heading out for a quick little walk. Getting out here in nature, which heals like no other. All right. Yes, it do. Well, anyway, family. Um, real quick. Um, ways. I can't speak for everybody. I'm just going to speak for myself. All right. So, ways that um, I well, ways that I have been able to see as far as me um knowing out here who's who should I say. I mean, I might not really maybe know if they are clone or or a reptilian. I will get that information. I have to ask my higher self if I'm, especially if I'm seeing like um, a dark mass over that person. And that's a sign of they're not spirit filled, all right? They're pretty much like walk in, shall I say. You know, they might on the outside appear to be, you know, in human outwardly, but on the inside, you know, that speaks a whole nother. That's a whole nother, you know, um, that's a whole nother ball game, shall I say, you know, but yeah. what I have been able to do is when I'm checking someone out and I would appear just above their head, cause, you know, we all have that aura uh, over us, around us, you know, uh, for the most part, you know, we have like these certain layers of colors that are over us and, um, you know, uh, for the most part, you know, the main layer I would definitely need to see is definitely these, the white, all right? That's a spirit orb of all of us. You know, that beautiful spirit orb of, of all of us. Those other layers, they're pretty much, you know, as far as when you see people, as far as when you see other colors in people, those are just pretty much like, those are ways you can read people, shall I say. Um, if you're someone that has mastered yourself, to not only see the orbs, but you can... You know, get an idea about you can get more. You can you would know more detail about that person just looking at all the spectrum of colors that are coming from their aura field. Shall I say? Come on, who don't mess with that? Those are ants. But if you're not seeing no kind of colors and you're definitely not seeing no white fluorescent um, light coming from a person, you know, like around them. Uh, that's pretty much a sign they are like walk-ins. There's someone that's either a clone or there's someone that's um, That's like a reptilian shall I say um, I Say this because you know this person was not born The, the right way, you know, they're not spirit filled shall I say and the spirit of the living God must be residing within that person uh, temple shall I say all right and um, 
so that's all I'm going to say on that um, I know a lot of you are starting to um, come into your gifts you know and everybody gifts are different all right so I don't never try to compare what I know or, or what I can do to, to somebody else because it's always somebody that knows more than you all right don't mean we all know it all because we don't I don't know it all if I don't ask my higher self I won't know yeah. and then there are things my higher self won't tell me because I would I would definitely say you know give me an answer for yes or no and I will also say you know the question that I'm asking um, give me a sign for I don't need to know and my higher self will give me that sign and sometimes it just let me know I don't need to know you know it's for my highest good that I don't need to know and that's fine with me because too much of anything is not good for us too much of knowledge is not good for us you know I say pretty much focus on yourself and the gift that you have been given you know you you, have, you wasn't given this gift for no reason all right we, we have not been blessed with these gifts for no reason so I say not only use it for your highest good but use it for the highest good of others all right family because some of you um, are truly you know coming to your gifts and you know you have gifts you might not have come to the uh, understanding that you know what um, this might be, be part of my purpose you know um, and yes indeed it is all right like I said many of our gifts were doormatted and for the most part when people are really 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 advanced in their gifts all right cuz you know um, as far as the third eye and all of that everyone has that um, so stop give me a hand as far as the third eye everybody has that um, it's just a matter of waking it up but I'm not talking about just the third eye I'm talking about other gifts you know your spiritual eyes can be open but I'm talking about other gifts that have nothing to do with um, your third eye I'm talking about gifts of uh, empath you know being able to sense things being, being able to see energy and pick up on things on people to be able to see them and read them you know and a lot of people don't want to be around people like that as you and I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you I don't have a lot of friends you know um you know um for some reason I, I don't know it's life it's like where sometimes where God's trying to take you you know it's pretty much you're dropping that baggage shall I say and I know I, I don't mean to call people baggage but I'm just saying you know everybody walk is different and sometimes you know when you're on your walk you know even though you love your family you know your family will sometimes distance themselves from you because they see something in you that's different and a lot of time, it, a lot of time, they sense that light that is within you. There's something about you that's different, and a lot of, and they might not like it because it's not really, you know, how you used to be, you know. And they don't want no, um, they don't want nobody that's like a, a party you pooper. You know what I'm trying to say? There's someone that's not on their level, shall I say? You know, if your family member used to drinking all the time, partying all the time, and okay, let's just sit in a minute, and um. Basically, the thing you used to do, you don't do no more, but your family members is still into that. You get what I'm saying? Uh, they see the change in you. And uh, not only your family members, your friends as well. So a lot of times the people are distancing themselves from you because they don't want be to be around all of that, you know. And they so stop and they stop. And they're definitely not trying to hear that spiritual talk because they're not there yet. Come on, let's, let's sit down up here. So I respect that. Um, just like the Most High God met me where I was, you know, um, and he's, his love is unconditional, unconditional, you know, it is for me to have that same love for my um, fellow friends and my family members as well. And I do. Because, I, you know, even though I've changed, I'm still no better than them. You know, the Most High God loved them too. He just waited for them to uh, make up their mind and, you know, get right before him and change, you know, but that's an individual thing. But um, please know, we all have issues. Please know, it ain't nobody perfect out here, all right? When it's all said and done, you know, when you're out here and you're trying and you're trying to have a relationship with the Most High God and, you know, you're trying to change your life around for the good, all right? Uh, please know you're still not perfect, but the Most High God sees the things you do in secret and He will reward you in, openly and He also will reward you with gifts, all right? And that's something that nobody can take from you all right so um i know that many of you have spouses um that support you and then many of you have spouses that don't 
support you as far as your new spiritual growth, your new coming to your gifts. You know, I say don't force nothing on them. Love them where they are. And, you know, um, there, there are always people that you can reach out to, like your sister. You know, if you need somebody to talk to, you know, and then there are other people who make videos who are conscious and spiritual um, that you can reach out to. Whether you reach out to them or not, it's people in the comment section that you can reach out to, all right? So don't ever look at it as though, oh, you know, I have nobody to talk to because it's somebody to talk to, all right? Like I said, as long as you're seeking, you will find. But, um, I think that's pretty much what I want to say right now. Um, I just really wanted to speak about that because, you know, like I said, everybody gives a different. And then there are other things that's going on with me. I still don't talk to you about family. Even the things that I see, you know, in the spirit realm, I don't talk to you about it because I truly feel it, I truly feel like it's for me to know. And one must use discernment when you're seeing things in the spirit realm. It's not for everybody to know. Sometimes it's for you to know. You know what I mean? Uh, everybody's going to see what they need to see for them as they continue continuously seek all right um because everybody can't handle certain things what's for you is for you and when you start coming into this place of knowing going within and getting the answers for yourself for your highest good you know that's for you and you need to pray about things that you speak on when making these videos because you're putting it out to the universe and it's really not for everybody's ears to, to hear shall I say a lot of people are not ready and some people just might happen to, to stumble across your videos you know but they're not there yet but still just be mindful of that alright and always sorry <laughs> always pray about everything alright come on always pray about everything and um you know definitely pray before you put a video out pray about it and if it feels right with you go ahead and put the video out um, cause I know how, you know, the most high, well, not the most high God, but I'm just saying it's, a, it's, it's amazing how, you know, the universe works, you know, whatever you're going through, you know, it's like for some reason, you know, the God of the universe always leads you to the right person at the right time. You know, it's something that they're speaking about that you need to hear, you know, that's going to help you along your spiritual journey. All right. So, um. That's pretty much what I wanted to say on that family. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say for right now. For right now. All right, I'm getting ready to finish walking with my little queen. I think for checking me out, family. And um, let me say this real quick too. Let me say this real quick too. Cause I feel like I feel like I need to say it. Um, I was on YouTube and just happened to come across um a video i had saw um to where um this girl was saying beware of i don't i don't, I don't know how you spell it scarling something like that beware of scarling it's pretty much like looking in the mirror but the mirror is real it's painted black it's but it's a form of like witchcraft that way um and i, and I thought about it. i said oh my goodness i said i'm not trying to i said i'm not trying to you know uh deceive my viewers and have them do something that i wouldn't do you know because i had got the okay for me that was okay as far as you know looking in the mirror and you know knowing that the eyes are the ones of our soul to look through the mirror and see that which is the layers of me uh as far as going back you know as far as past lifetimes you know and um so i went ahead and just Watch the little video just to get an idea of what this young lady was talking about. But it, it, this is a whole nother ball game. This is a whole nother ball game. But anyway, family, uh, I don't know if many of you, if you have tried this. I wouldn't suggest it. Because this is something totally different from what I was just saying. I know a mirror is just a mirror. But there are many forms of witchcraft. Uh, to where it can be something it can be any tool that you can use, but it's how you're using it shall I say and uh, That's what makes all the difference. I was just saying, you know for anyone who's interested Just try this because I know what I see when I look in the mirror and I don't see nothing negative, you know And whatever I do see I see it in love, you know um, Like I said, I saw E.T. staring right back at me, but the point I'm trying to make is um, What I was uh, mentioning to you family 
you know, if it bothers some of you, you know, please know that wasn't my intention. So I realized I didn't get a lot of feedback on that video uh, as far as many of you saying you tried it. And that's okay because if you're not ready, you're not ready. And it's not really something that you have to do. I was just saying if you're someone that spiritual eyes are not awakened yet, that's something, that's a tool that you could try. But all of this, looking in, in dark mirrors and all of that, that's taking it to a whole other level. That's something that I would not suggest, family. Um, especially for those who are not right, you know. Um, like I said, like I said, you know, people don't understand how important it is, how one must be right within themselves, how, you know, thinking positive and your heart being right. If even when your spiritual eyes are awakened, you know, um, what's going to meet you behind the veil is what's going to meet you behind the veil. But that's why I say it's, it's so important to make sure you're working on yourself and mastering yourself, family. And um, just the main two things, you know, make sure your mind is right. You're thinking positive. You're thinking of love and your heart is right. Because many people who are doing a lot of this um, scarling, whatever it's called, or even just for those who come into um, their spiritual eyes been awakened, you know, they're not having a positive experience, you know. Um, so, come on, get up. It's ants on, on the ground. Thank you. Put your shoes on. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, that's why um, I was saying it's so important, family. To just um before you do anything get right on the inside but i still would suggest you do that because from my higher self let me know that's still another form of witchcraft and the most high my, the most high god is not pleased when we are operating on sorcery all right now when your spiritual eyes is awakened that's not considered sorcery um that put your shoes on put your shoes on we were all born with a penile gland all right put your shoes on it's it's just that when your penile gland is activated which is your spiritual eye you know as long as you the thoughts are positive and you're right on the inside uh your experience is going to be positive period you know and put your shoes on put your shoes on but for one to be operating and using other tools and you're not right on the inside you know you're going to track negative things you're pretty much attracting what you are it, it's just in the form of other entities shall i say you know if you if you're vibrating on lower frequency that's what you want to attract lower frequency entities lower frequency spirits you get it but anyway family i love you all in christ i thank you for checking me out um i appreciate the viewers my subscribers and um i'm going to go ahead and go my email is qmccwest at gmail.com all right many of you are welcome to ask me one question for free all right it lets you know that i do have love for you and i am here for you, many of you all right um you are welcome to ask me that one question for free i will respond back to you but i do i do also do chart charts for 1750 all right and um it is through paypal all right but in, for those who are interested but other than that like i say you know the things that i can do many of you can do also especially for many of you who have come into your gifts you can do also it's just a matter of mastering yourself all right when the most high god gives you a gift it is he who qualifies not man Bye right, for now family look at that son i just love it Oh, how sweet it is to behold the sun.